now let us start the next topic visualizing solid shapes now what are the solid shapes so you are you are already familiar with some plane figures and some solid shapes in your earlier classes now what are the plane shapes so the plane shapes means which have the only two measurements like length and breadth the solid shapes are solid objects so these solid objects have the three measurements like length breadth and height height or depth we can give some examples to those figures now we can take a rectangle or a triangle or a circle as examples for plane figures because the rectangle triangle and circle they have only the two measurements like length and breadth but no thickness or but no height so whereas a cuboid a cube a sphere so these objects have the three dimensions like three measurements like length breadth as well as height so these objects are called solid objects or solid shapes now the plane shapes have only two dimensions so these plane shapes are called two dimensional objects or simply we can say that 2d objects and the solid shapes are also called three dimensional objects or simply we can say that 3d objects now let us find the whether the following objects are 3d objects or 2d objects if we consider a rectangle so this rectangle has only length and breadth it has only two measurements as length and breadth so it is a 2d object or two dimensional object if you consider a square so it has length and breadth but no thickness so it is also 2d object now if you consider a triangle so it is also 2d object because it doesn't have any thickness so if you consider a circle it is also plane figure so it is also considered as 2d object now if you take a cuboid which have three dimensions as length breadth and height now it is considered as a 3d shape or 3d object now if you take any cube so it is also a 3d object it has length breadth as well as height
and a cylinder so it is also a 3d object or cone sphere so these are also considered as the 3d objects or 3d shapes in all these figures the shapes have are only single because here there is only rectangle and here only the square and here only the triangle and only the circle but in our day to day life we can across some figures like the combination of two different shapes now let us see how the combinations of the different shapes will be there now let us see the combinations of different shapes now in the first figure so it is a tent and we can observe that a cylindrical shape and over the cylindrical shape we can see the conical shape so this is the combination of two different solid shapes one is a cylindrical shape and the other is a conical shape now a cone surmounted on a cylinder so there is a cone surmounted on a cylinder now if you take the second figure in the second figure this is a tin so here this is a cylindrical shell means this is the combination of two different cylinders so one is the inner cylinder and the other is the outer cylinder and if you consider the third figure so it is a photo frame means this is nothing but a rectangular path so in these two rectangles are there one is outer rectangle and the other is inner rectangle so this is also the combination of two different shapes now the next fourth figure it is a ball so in this ball so there are two hemispheres means it is a hemispherical shell so one is the inner sphere inner hemisphere and the other is the outer hemisphere so like this we can take the combinations of different shapes now let us discuss the next topic views of 3d shapes now three dimensional objects means solid shapes can look differently from different positions and we can even draw them from dis different perspectives now if you consider a glass now if you see the side view of the glass then it is a cylindrical shape now if you see the top means from the upside then it is looking like two concentric circles means it is looking like a circular path or a ring if you consider a brick means it is looking like a cuboid now if you observe the front view of the brick then it is a rectangular shape and if you observe the side view of the brick then it is also a rectangular shape and if you see the top view of the brick then it is looking like the rectangular path 